In Pakistan today, three American soldiers were killed and two others wounded by a roadside bomb in the northwest part of the country near the Afghan border. The Taliban claimed responsibility for the attack, which also killed three Pakistani girls at a nearby school. The Americans were in Pakistan to train a paramilitary force. Lara Logan, our chief foreign affairs correspondent, is in Washington tonight. And Lara, this is not the first time American soldiers have been killed in Pakistan. That's right, Katie. In fact, since 9-11, 12 American servicemen have died in Pakistan. But these are the first special operations soldiers who were part of the security cooperation agreement between the U.S. and Pakistan who have actually been killed in what was really a devastating attack. The scenes, um, the images from the scene are quite dramatic, and they show the rubble and the devastation and also some of the wounded. There were three young Pakistani girls killed and a Pakistani soldier. Um, the U.S. soldiers who were there were actually civil affairs soldiers whose mission is primarily humanitarian. That's, that's what they do there. Katie? And what is the primary mission of all U.S. troops in Pakistan, Lara? Well, in this particular case, it's a training mission, and U.S. officials are quick to point out that it's at the request of the Pakistani government, and it's not a war-fighting mission. But it does include things like teaching the Pakistani military to use weapons and equipment supplied by the U.S. military to them. Katie? All right. Lara Logan in Washington. Thank you, Lara.